Hey, what's going on? It's Mixmaster B here for the MMB Radio Podcast. Uh, what you're about to listen to right now is an interview that I got to do with Miss Cherry Hilson, adult film star, while in Philadelphia. Uh, it's just a raw interview. Like We didn't even do any real crazy setup or production for it. We just kind of just started recording in a hotel room. Um, so take a listen to it. Um, download it. You can download MP3 of it as well. Uh, check her out on Instagram and Twitter. And let us know your feedback. Leave comments on the website. Uh, make sure to retweet it. If you're going to retweet it, make sure you use the hashtag MMBCherry. That's hashtag MMBCherry. So uh, here it is. Take a listen. All right. It's nice to be here for MMB Radio. And I am live. Actually, a live interview. Most of our phone <laughs> interviews. I'm here with adult film store, Ms. Cherry Hilton. How are you? Good. I'm good. How are you? Doing awesome. Doing awesome. So um, how's Philly been treating you? Good. Turn up every day, but it's been good. It's been fun. I've been dancing at what Club Onyx. I danced Friday and I danced Saturday. Pretty fun. Pretty cool crowd. And everybody's nice. Nice people here. Everybody's yeah. not cold like New York. Okay. Like, is this your first nice. time in Philly? Or? Yes. Very first time. Very first time. Okay. Okay. Now, um, you're originally from the West Coast, right? Yes, San Diego, Cali okay. girl. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, how is the flow out here? I know it's a little more hustle and bustle on the East yeah, Coast. Yeah, so. like here it's kind of like a little bit more congested. Like everybody's walking. Like I'm used to seeing cars everywhere. Like there's like not too many cars down here. It's like taxi cabs and people walking to work. Like I see women in like business suits and flip flops. Like what? Yeah, you'll see dudes in like <laughs> yeah. a full piece suit on a scooter. And then have like on some yeah, like what is going on? But it's cool here though. It's cool. It's different. Different. Yeah, you got it on a real good day. I mean, we had some really bad weather. No, uh, yeah, it's, yesterday it's nice was out horrible. There. Yeah, yesterday we were like sitting here looking at the sun, and then all of a sudden it was like storming, and mm. I was like, where the hell did this storm come from? Yeah, you don't, and you don't get that stuff in Cali, no. right? Not yeah, San Diego. It's like a little drizzle, drizzle, and then it goes away. And then people, and, but people forgot about that. They're like, oh my God, it's like storming. And it's like, no, it's not that serious. It's going to go away. True, true, true. So, like I said, you're an adult film star, and. Everybody sees you, and I mean, it's her. Cherry Hilton looks so much like Cherry Hilton. So, like, Do I look like her? I, I, yeah, I think it's just slightly, you know, yeah. what I mean, just slightly, you know. Um, but, like, obviously, that was a whole marketing ploy, you know. Yeah. I'm going to be Cherry Hilton because I look like Cherry <laughs> Hilton. So, um, have you even, like, spoken to her, or, like, does she know about this, or, like, anything? Honestly, I'm pretty sure she knows about it. People always tweet us, like me and her. She she sees me, but she has no. She hasn't approached me or said anything about it. But she knows. Mm. Pretty sure she knows. It's not it's not to insult her though. It's like you know why, why not coin it? Yo, I look like her. Why not? Why not just use your name for a little bit? Like whatever. You're not you're not making any more music. So yeah. <laughs> why not? <laughs> so well, I'm saying like she could have got into the game. She couldn't. She could have. But shit, I came first. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dudes would have been okay with seeing her. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? In no, the video. she's fine. She's fine. I like Carrie Hilson. Like Carrie Hilson is fine. It's fuck. I just don't see the resemblance between me and her. Uh -huh. But everybody tells me all the time, "Is that Carrie Hilson? No, he looks like Carrie Hilson." I'm like. Why not? Okay, Carrie Hilson, Cherry Hilson. Okay, I can make some money off that. Why not? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So, um, you're only, you were talking to me the other day. You're only 21 years old? Just turned 21. Just turned 21. April. So, um, how did you get into it? Like, how did you get into the whole, like, uh. adult business? <laughs> well, first I was in beauty school. I started off in beauty school. And, like, I've been watching porn since I was, like, I was, like, young, like, 11 or 12. And it always fascinated like the pretty girls and like their makeup because I do makeup so I, like I was like oh my god like, that's so fun it looks fun and I'm like I'm very sexual like me and like one of my ex boyfriends used to always be crying about having sex so it's kind of like I wasn't shy in front of the camera it's kind of like it's kind of like a spontaneous thing like I'm only living once I don't have any kids I'm not married I don't have to stress about anything like so why not why not live my life and say like 20 years from now guess what I did when I was your age I did porn you know just having fun because that's what everybody yeah, wants to like, say you know, when they're kids you know like yeah. hey mom so you did porn like 20 years yep. ago and I'm, yeah. not, and I'm not ashamed of it like I knew once I signed that contract like it was going to follow me for the rest of my life and now I'm okay with that. So did you start off doing like dancing first and get approached by somebody, no. or did you just kind of just look into it? I just full throttle, like searched it up, looked at how much you get paid, and I just went with it. Like, okay, I'm gonna do that. That's it. It's kind of creepy though and scary, right? Because <laughs> no. you don't know who you're running into. Like, so like anybody could throw a Tumblr on there or a Facebook page and be like, yeah, yeah I charge, you know, <laughs> a G for an hour. You know what I mean? And you're like, all right, yeah, fuck it, let's shoot a movie. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, I went to like a legit like agency and everything. I went through like four different agencies before I chose my before I chose who I'm who I'm with now. So yeah, like I went through like I I thought about it for a while and then just like say I'm doing porn, let me go in. So I researched for like a couple weeks and I was like, okay, this, I'm gonna do it. That's it, mm -hmm. and that's what I did. 
I would, went to LA, signed a contract, and I started shooting porn literally like the next day, literally. And ever since then, it's it was that right. simple. It was that simple. <laughs> it's so much easier for girls to get into it than guys. Yeah. Dudes are like, there's only a I'm looking all over the place. There's then. only a handful of them. So like what, like what, six? Like six like top guys in porn right now, like but there's like a like a bunch of girls though, so I just get here for a girl to get in. Yeah, cause nobody wants to see the dude. He's just rented dick. That's why I look at it. You're just rented dick, dude. Unless you're like Mr. Marcus and you got some kind of syphilis shit going on. Yeah. Like, dude, like, hey, it's no all good. No one's paying attention. Yeah. Not at all. And then, and then when they are paying attention to you, it's because you're doing some nasty shit infecting yeah. people. Right. So, True. um, how did family, friends, and all that react to it? Like, did they always know that you were going to be like the type that was going to do something oh, crazy, right. or do um, they even know? No, 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 no. My my family knows. I'm very close to my mom, my dad, and my sisters. Like, they all know. Um, as far as me doing porn, that wasn't, like, kind of, like, a shocker. Like, because I always went against the grain. Like, since I was in high school, I always went against the grain. Like, I did it in school. I was a cheerleader. I did all that. But I always went against the grain. Like, I always, like, trying to rebel. So, like, my, you want to hear the crazy story how my parents even found out? <laughs> That's why I'm here. I don't want to hear the sugar okay. thing. <laughs> so, my dad was on World Star Hip Hop. He's looking at the Yo, video. first off, shout out to your dad. Because any, any dad that starts on World Star is cool being made. Like, you, no, you're cool being on World Star. Yeah, no. He was, he was on World Star Hip Hop. He's, like, looking at videos. And, like, a pop-up came up on the side. You know, as a man, he, like, he's seen, like, top 20, like, upcoming porn stars. He clicked the link. And I was, like, number, like, eight on there. And, like, he called me and was, like, this is not you that I'm looking at right now. Who's Cherry Hilson? And I'm, like... That's me. <laughs> like, what else can I say? I can't lie. Like, it's my picture there. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, this girl has a matching tattoo as you. This is not true. I was like, that's me. Like, you know? So, I mean, that was that. And then I called my mom. My mom, like, she always supports everything that I do. And that's anything. I can go freaking go kill somebody right now. She's like, let's hide the body. Like, what's up? <laughs> so she doesn't care. Like, you know, my sister's always on my back, too. So, like, yeah, my family knows. And as long as my family's okay with it and they're cool with it, then I'm cool with it. If my parents didn't agree with it, I probably would have stopped. Like, my, my mom told me, like, all I can do is love you, so do your thing. You're an adult now. I can't stop you. Yeah. I mean, that's so that's, the, that. that's crazy, though, like, that your dad just kind of, like, surfs across. Like, that's got to be a crazy way to find out. Yeah. And I was shocked. I was, like, out of town, like, doing a shoot in the scene. And then my, my dad called me, and I'm like, my dad never calls me. So, like, this is something serious right now. Like, it was midday, and I know he's at work. So I'm like, you must have been on break, on World Star, doing your thing. And he's like, yeah, I just seen a pop-up, and I clicked it, just, you know, just being nosy. And he's like, you're number eight on that 20 list. When, now, when it says NSFW, it means not safe for work because your daughter could pop up on the screen. Right. You know what I mean? You don't want your coworkers to see your daughter getting dick. You know I don't know. I mean? Maybe he was on the phone or I don't know what he was doing, but I think it was just a picture. I think it was just a list. I don't uh, think it was like a video. I think that's kind of perverted if you're looking at my videos. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he just seen a picture and it kind of freaked him out. He was devastated, but like now he's kind of just like whatever. Like, But you made it in the top ten. Yeah. So, I mean, you got to look at the I'm doing positive. something, right? Yeah. you got to look at so, the positive. Like, but, like, as long as my mom is rocking with me, like, I'm good. Like, as long as she has my back or, like, do whatever, if anything happens, like, I know I can call her. So, it's okay. I'm chilling. Yeah. I mean, if it's, like, the top 100 and you're, like, in the 80s to the 100 mark, like, I'm not only am I devastated that that's my <laughs> daughter, but what the fuck, man? You couldn't even get, like, in the 30s or 20s? Right? Like, no, come on. Yeah, I'm number eight. So, and then he told me that. I was kind of like, am I? He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> So yeah, no, my family's cool with it. Like it's, it's. I've been doing it for a year now, so it's kind of like my mom asks me every day, like, do you have a shoot coming up? Like, what are you doing? Like, are you gonna go dance? Like, she knows that Onyx. Like, she wants to send me pictures. What are you doing? What do you look like? Like, you know, my mom's like, we're like best friends. So, as long as she's cool with it, I'm cool with it. I've been saying that from the jump. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So I'm trying to remember all these questions people are tweeting in because people are tweeting us in questions. Okay, a lot of people. The you want. All right, people <laughs> want to know like, what is your nationality? Because, like, are you, like, you mixed? Are you Hispanic? Like, because you kind of have this look that you could play any kind of character. Oh, my gosh. Everybody says that. My dad is Mexican. He's full-blooded Mexican. My mom's black. Okay. So I'm black to Mexican. I'm black to kid. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And um, so we got all the, like, how you got started and everything. Yeah. And how many, like, films have you done to date? Because like, a lot of people I ask this question, so they're always like, I don't even remember. And they're like, do you count, like, all a lot of stuff, like, Browsers as a film, uh -huh. or you just like count DVDs? Like um, DVDs, I think I have like 15 DVDs and I'm on the box cover. Like everything I've done has always come on a box cover. It's never been like scenes, but as far as scenes, I think I've done like 50. 
Okay. So, I mean, I've done I've done a little bit of work, you know, a little bit. But, yeah, I've done at least, like, 15 box covers and I think, like, over, like, 50 scenes. Now, do you get more money for doing a box cover? Like, do they give you, like, you get extra? No, I think it's, like, all the same way. It's, like, if you look good, they're going to put you on a box cover because they know you're going to sell. And if you like, ratchet, you might get on the back. You might get on the back, maybe maybe even a scene. So, yeah. who knows? You're on the back with, like, a money <laughs> shot running off your face. You know what I mean? That's where we put the ratchet here, on the right? back. Right? <laughs> and I'm not ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Where do you want to go from this? Like, I mean, you're still kind of new in the game, right? You haven't really been in this long. Like, what is your main goals? Like, do you want to do this long term? Do you want to get production? Like, Just recently, like, I've been getting, like, opportunities outside of doing porn. Like, I haven't shot any, anything new in, like, five months. Like, people don't know that. They're searching stuff up, and they think that that's all new. Like, no. Like, I haven't shot anything in, like, five months. So, I've been venturing, like, like doing club hostings, like, dancing. That's, me dancing at club, honestly, was the first time dancing, gracing anybody's stage ever. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have to get naked or do anything. Just, like, and you did it with dance. Skin Diamond. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. <laughs> No, yeah, um, eventually, like, people don't know I graduated from, co from cosmetology school, so I have a license, so eventually, like, when I'm done shooting, I probably want to go into doing makeup and porn, so I'm on set, but not on set anymore, mm -hmm. so we're going to be like, that's cherry, but no, I'm doing makeup now, mm -hmm. I'm just doing my thing, so eventually I want to do that, or I'm kind of pondering on it, probably, like, six or seven months from now, I want to go to school to be an RN, my mom's an RN, and I'd like, but she's, like, my okay. biggest idol, so I probably want to go to school for nursing, like, porn, it's not a career. It's something you do and have fun with. Like, you cannot, you can make a living off of it. I'm going to be honest about it. Like, you know, this is not forever. Like, your body and my face is not going to look like this forever. My face, maybe my body, no. So I know that this is something that I did to have fun. Like, it was spontaneous. So eventually, like, probably like six months from now, I'm going to go back to school and, like, pursue, um, pursue like, a, a regular career. Like, mm -hmm. serious. Like, you know? So you're just going to bow out like Jordan, you know, like yeah, come back like later? Yeah, I did my or? thing, and I probably, I probably would do webcamming and do personal stuff like that, but as far as shooting porn, like, I'm probably going to stop, like, in the next, like, six or seven months, depending on how I go, because, like, I'm, I'm going to start shooting again next week. So, so I'm going to see how that goes, and then I'm going to go from there. Like, I'm not going to make porn my career. Like, Trey Hilton's only going to be all around for a while. So you guys better watch up and enjoy while I'm here because I'm not going to make this my wife. Like, so everything you say, it's exclusive because you never know when you're going to see yeah, it Yeah, ever. And I, and I ponder all the time. Like, I'm always going back on myself like, okay, I want to keep doing it. No, I don't want to keep doing it. So, you know, it depends on how I feel today. Like, I don't want to do it today. I don't want to do it no more. Mm -hmm. And then maybe like a, a month now, like, okay, I want to go do it again. So we'll see. We'll see. Now, when you got into it, I mean, obviously, you must have had some kind of feelings or a thought process like I'm gonna do something outside of porn eventually yeah. one and day. And I was in school. I was in cosmetology school when I pursued porn. So I always had something to fall back on. I wasn't just gonna go do porn and be like, damn, when I'm not shooting porn, what am I gonna do now? Like you have to have something you have to have a backup plan. You can't just be like, I'm gonna go do do porn and I'm gonna go dance. Like no, like you have to have something to fall back on because that's not always gonna last you. Mm -hmm. And that's what my mom instilled in me like go to school, do something and then go fuck like not go fuck up your life, but go fuck off and do something so you have something to fall back on. Mm -hmm. And that's how that's how I Speak now, like okay, I'm doing porn now, but if, if I ever wanted to stop, I can go do work in somebody's salon, go do hair, go do makeup, you know. So I did my own makeup. Mm -hmm. So you know, so yeah, like you know, I'm just chilling. So I mean, did you, were you ever concerned, like going into another field, like that someone would find out about your history in your past, like they're not going to hire you now, or you. I do not care. Okay. Because me doing porn does not stop me from helping somebody, does not stop me from doing somebody's makeup. Like, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i pretty sure I'll probably get rejected, like, oh, you know, you did this or you did that. Like, but that doesn't matter. Like, I knew once I, like I said, once I signed that contract, I knew what was going to go down. Like, that's going to follow me wherever I go. And I'm mm -hmm. totally okay with that. And that's something I'm going to have to deal with the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Whatever. But people, people, people can't accept that. People want to be in denial about, like, no, like, well, they want to keep it a secret. Why? It's all over the Internet. The Internet is, like, the biggest thing popping right now. Mm. Anybody that searches your name up is going to come up. So, you know, I'm not worried about it at all. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, um, when, like, I mean, you said you always were, like, a sexual person or thing, and you were watching porn from, like, you were 11 and everything, like, yes. What dude turned you out? Like, what set it off? Like, something had to just set you off. What well, set me off? I'm trying to tell you, the dude I was messing with, like, uh -huh. where it's, like, recording ourselves and doing all that, and, like, I liked the way I looked on camera. Like, I liked the whole fantasy of it. Like, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, you were just turned on by Yeah, that. I would just turn on by myself. Like, uh -huh. at myself, like, oh, my God, I look good on the camera. Like, you know, so porn was just, like, Skin Diamond is, like, half the reason why I got into the porn industry, because she was doing bondage. Mm. So when I went to the porn industry, I wanted to do bondage, but my agency was telling me, no, you're too for that like 
don't go that route. I don't think that's from like skin bonding. Though. No, but like, she's so fine though. Like you know, she's so fine and she does bondage. Like when yeah. she first came out, that's what she was doing. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my god, she's so fine. Like if she's pretty, she can handle that. So can I? So I'm like, okay, let me let me go let me go on this internet and see how to do it. And I swear to God, I was watching her videos like every day, and it was just like more of the reason why I want to go into it. Cause she's just so fine. Mm. She's so fine. And I told her that. And I was like, when I met her, I told her. She's like, oh my God, are you serious? I was like, yes, I'm so serious. This was the first time you got the to meet her. The first time I ever met her was Saturday at Club Onyx. And I was like drooling. Like, oh. Yeah, she felt <laughs> cool. When I met her, she was actually under the weather. And yeah. she felt so bad because she was at Exotica. And yeah. she was like, she had a cold and she was like coughing. She's like, I feel so bad. Like, I'm sneezing. I got a runny nose. Right. I'm like, these dudes do not care. They do not care. They will <laughs> eat up your snot and like bottle yes. that shit up. Yeah. No, yeah, she's cool really cool like down to earth like when I met her I was like I was talking to her and she's just chilling and just talking and I'm like I thought you're gonna be like totally different like honestly and she's like no I'm just cool and then you should we were just chilling and just talking and I was just like oh my gosh like you just don't know like you're my idol like I'm mm -hmm. trying to show you everybody's idol but you're mine too <laughs> so is there anybody else that like you would want to work with like I mean obviously like Skin Diamond's your your mm -hmm. idol like your mentor and everything yeah. like obviously she's probably someone you would love to work with yeah. but is there anybody that you're like, you got like a bucket list, like I really want to work with this person before I get out of the game? Mm, no. Nobody? Honestly, no. To skin down? Like the Caucasian girls don't <laughs> appeal to me. Uh -huh. Like I'm not even, okay, no, you know I'm lying. Bonnie Rotten. Okay. She can get it all day. Okay. She's so fine to me just because she's so hardcore. She is. She's so petite and yet you wouldn't think that of her and you see her scenes, it's like, Oh my gosh! Like her for sure, for sure. But I perform with all the other black girls like in the game. Mm -hmm. King, I'm uh, not Kinky Yaz. I'm saying the thing on Twitter. Um, Yasmin De Leon, I did a scene with her. Chanel Hart did a scene with her. Jade Aspen did a scene with her. Um, I think that's it. Like I pretty much performed with everybody I wanted to perform with already. Okay. But Skin Diamond is definitely like at the top though. Like once I did that. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm satisfied. Like, okay. I'm feeling like if we get kept this interview to her and she could hear this, yeah, like, we can make this. Yeah, she knows though, because I told her. I was <laughs> like, dude, we need to do a thing. No, she's so, she's so beautiful. Like mm -hmm. her inside and out, she's fire. Well, I haven't like, seen the but... inside. The outside looks good. <laughs> I would love to see the inside and see if it's just as fine. But I mean, right. no, yeah, I've only seen cool. stuff on video, the little uh -huh. inside that I can see, and it right. looks pretty nice to me. <laughs> so. I know, right? So, is there anything that you would not do? important like you said you wanted you wanted to get in the bondage but your agency was like no we're not gonna go that route yeah is there anything like you wouldn't do or wouldn't do like i think like the ghetto gagger scene like i think mm -hmm. like you know i'm hardcore like i'm with whatever like you know as long as like you're not hurting me but i'm not gonna do like the hardcore shit where it looks like i'm not even enjoying it like but i, I pretty much do everything i do i do double penetration i do anal I do boy girls, I do girl girls. Yeah, I saw someone tweeted out a picture of a DP that you Yeah, did. Like, and I like that. I like the challenge. Like, people just mm -hmm. want to have sex, have sex. Like, no, I want to be challenged. I want you to push me to where I can't go no more. Mm -hmm. Like, I like stuff like that. So, as far as anything that I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do anything as far as, like, I don't know, like, something that's just, like, out of this world. I don't know. Like, I mean, DP people say they wouldn't do it. I'll do it. I mean, mm -hmm. I pretty much do anything. So, I guess it's not, there's nothing I wouldn't do then, I guess. If you say that now, so yeah, you know, so something comes up and I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I don't yeah, know about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right, so um, I'm trying to think of a lot of these questions. I know people were like tweeting me questions and they're yeah. asking things like, you get the all the typical questions. Yeah, you know I mean, like, are you, are you in a relationship with someone? Like, how do you handle that kind of uh -huh. aspect with being in a business? Like, how uh -huh. does how does that work? Is that something that you're even able to have or not have? Um, well, I'm not in a relationship with anybody right now. At all. I'm just chilling, and I don't think anybody could handle my lifestyle. Period. Like, I mean, as a man, like, they might accept it for the first little bit of it, but it's gonna start becoming jealousy, and then it's like, I've been down that route already. Like, it's not worth it. Dating mm -hmm. somebody like right now in this industry, and I'm so young, and like, I feel like, and that even if I wasn't doing porn, I wouldn't be dating anybody because it's like, you get held back, like you can't do what you want to do, you know? Yeah. So, no, nah, I don't know. I mean, whoever has, I mean, I know there's people who have husbands and. You know all that, but I'm not one of those girls. I'm by myself, just mm -hmm. chilling. What do you think is the biggest misconception about being in the adult business? That we're celebrities. Okay. <laughs> so you're not, or no, I don't. Yeah. I think that I am a regular girl who gets credit for things that people do behind closed doors every day. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's a fantasy. Like we, me and Jay just had a conversation yesterday. We were just talking about it. Like people are like, oh my god, like you're so famous. Like no, I'm not. Like what am I famous for? Am I famous for having sex on camera when people do that? Like I know somebody's like over there in this building right now having sex right now. 
and they're not famous, but I'm famous because I'm on camera doing it. That's mm-hmm. why I think that's a whole misconception. And another thing is that people think like I'm a bitch. Okay. Like when people meet me, they're like, "Oh my god, you're so cool!" Like I didn't think you were gonna be like that. And I'm like, "How do you think I was gonna be like? Oh, I thought you were gonna be Hollywood. Like I think you're gonna acknowledge me." I'm like, "No, like I'm down to earth. Like if you're cool with me, I'm cool with you. Like I'm not gonna be like, eh, because I'm Cherry Hilson. Like oh, I'm not gonna talk to you." Yeah, like that's one of the biggest mistakes. I'm a bitch, and that I'm famous. I'm not famous. Mm-hmm. I'm just a regular girl. But if you were a famous bitch, like <laughs> that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not. It's not. But <laughs> I want to be famous for something that's really credible. Something that's like this girl freaking have a fucking cure for cancer, or she like freaking help the world like prevent poverty, or something, something like that to be famous for. As far as music is famous too, but as far as being a porn star. You're famous to a certain extent. That's how I feel. You know, you're you're recognized for stuff that you do, like you're on the internet and all that. But a big, the biggest exception is that I'm a, like I'm a celebrity. I'm well, not. I think honestly, my own personal opinions. I feel like in the adult business, like it's become more acceptable within yeah. the last fifteen to twenty years. Mm-hmm. You have these exotica, these conventions, you know, the AVN awards and everything like that, where you can go out to these things and like you have all these people spending crazy amounts of money. Yes. So they I mean, see you. Yeah. yeah. So in essence, I mean, I like I can see where people are like, oh, you're a celebrity because, you know, what I mean, it's yeah. more commonplace now. I think. I agree with you. I agree. So in that sense, yes, I'm a celebrity. Yes, in that sense, because people will come see me. If I'm at exotic, they're gonna come see me. Yes, in that sense, but it's still a misconception. Like I'm not a celebrity at all. I mm-hmm. I feel because in my head, I'm so regular. Like outside of porn, like I have a life outside of porn. Like it's not just Cherry Hilton all the time. Like I have like a regular life. Like I do regular things. Mm-hmm. So so what is a normal day like when you're not shooting? You really want to know? I, yeah, I do. Doing what I'm doing now, drinking. Drinking and doing interviews. Doing oh, <laughs> doing interviews. Getting high, smoke weed. Like I'm a weed smoker. Uh-huh. California girls. Everyone from California smoking weed. Uh-huh. Smoke weed. I'm just chilling at home. Like going to the mall. Like you got medical little card? Bits stuff. Yeah, uh-huh. have a medical card. Like I go eat. If you have not seen my Instagram, I'm eating every day, all day like okay, that. How, how bad is your glaucoma? You <laughs> I don't know. Check? I haven't had to talk to you yet. I don't know. It's probably bad. <laughs> but, like, I do regular things. Like, I don't really party like that. Like, okay. I've been partying. Like, I went to club now that I was, like, 14. So now that I'm 21, it's kind of, like, played out to me, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm just chilling. Like, I do, like, the most basic stuff. Like, this is not even me right here. Like, I'm no makeup. Like, not doing anything in the house. Like, come over. Let's chill. Come hang out by the pool like I'm so basic like mm. I'm the most basic yeah we saw the ever. Instagram picture prior to the interview it was like no filter self <laughs> yeah like I'm yeah. so basic and those people like get confused like I'm like really normal if you meet me you're gonna, like oh she's like really down to earth like she's not mm. anything like how you think that she would be how Trey Hilton mm. would be so I was looking through the Instagram and we see different things like you're listening to music wise and fans all want to know like what are you listening to like what is what's your like your go-to kind of music? Um, I always like Janae Eichel. I like Drake. I like Too Short. I, but I like old Too Short, though. I like mm-hmm. old 240. I mean, not 240. E40. Mm-hmm. Um, what else I listen to? Um, I think that's pretty much it. Who else is in my playlist right now that I'm thinking about? I like YG. I like the pussy pop music. Because I'll okay. be in parking a little bit. <laughs> well, we don't have any of those videos on Instagram. We need to get some of them on there. I don't there. myself like that. Like, twerking is, like, on my personal time. Like, when I think I have a little bit of booty. Like, uh-huh. and that's so, like, basic. Like, I am basic, but I'm not going to go put a twerking video on there. Like, how many girls have twerking videos up? Not enough. <laughs> no, yeah. Like, I like YG. I like I like West Coast music. Um, I think that's pretty much it. YG, Drake, Janae Aiko, Too Short, E40. That's pretty much it. Like I don't really listen to anybody. Oh, Kendrick Lamar too. Kendrick Lamar is cool. Yeah. Okay. So West Coast shot is. I'm gonna tell you a lot of the West Coast <laughs> yeah. stuff out there. Um, so I'm just trying to think of some of these questions that people always ask. Mm-hmm. Like they always want to know, like what are your favorite scenes to shoot? Like do you have a scene where you're like you prefer doing a boy 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 girl threesome? Like what is your I prefer like the to do? I like I like I prefer like multiple men on me. Like okay. I don't know why it's just like a turn on. Like like uh, the fantasy of mine is to shoot a scene. I think I I have shot one like that where like my husband was kind of fucked the friend. Mm-hmm. That that was a DP when like I like that whole fantasy. I like I like multiple men on me. Okay. Like, it's like a challenge. It's like I have to please all of them all at once. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, how I like how many things. how many is too many? Um, I think I can do like five or six. Okay. After that, that's like too much because kind of like all these dicks are going everywhere. Uh-huh. But I think like five or six would be cool. Okay. Like I'm gonna be into that though. Like I like the whole like all eyes on me. They're not paying attention to me. They're not paying attention to each other. They're paying attention to me. Okay. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> how old were you when you lost your virginity? I was sixteen. 
Okay, so late. I mean, for someone yeah. who watch, was watching porn when you're like 11. Six. I couldn't do anything. Like, they're like, no, girl, you're not going to that party. You're going to sit in this house. Like, I was, like, I was with grown up. Like, my parents were very straight. So I had to sneak off and lose my virginity while mm-hmm. my mom was at work. Like, come over, like, my mom's at home. Like, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's how that went down. But I was 16 and I lost my virginity. Okay. Yeah. So you said you're, like, doing the DP thing. Like, when did that happen? Um, D, the, the, first, the first DP happened on set. That was okay. my first VP ever, but I liked the challenge. Once again, I wasn't scared. I wasn't nervous. I was kind of like something I have to do because I've already like I'm already here now. So it was kind of cool, you know. So yeah, it was fun. Like DP is like amazing. Like anal is amazing. Like anal is like a whole other high for me. Like there's a whole. <laughs> some people high. say it hurts. Like like no, the first time you were cool with it. Like no, the first time was uncomfortable. But there's a way to master like to master it. Like there's a way for your you can pin it. You can make your body so that it doesn't hurt. Like, people don't know that, though. Like, I mm-hmm. had to learn from the best in the game to teach me how to do it. Now, I don't know what you could show me or convince <laughs> me. Anything that's going up my ass is not going to be comfortable. Yeah, we can talk when this interview's over. But there's a... There's a <laughs> I'm cool. I don't need to get up my ass. No, 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 no. Not you. I'm just saying in general, you want to do it to a girl. But no, okay. like, there's ways to do it. And, like, now it's kind of like getting a flex in my vagina. So uh, I'm like, okay, it's what it is. Bend over, do it's it. Back straight. Yeah, and I like it because you're not supposed to be doing stuff like that. Yeah, it's like all in my head. It's like you're stuck in your head yeah. right now. It's like so you, you like the whole that. taboo. Yeah, I like the whole going it. against the grain. I told you I've been uh-huh. going against the grain since I was 14 years old. Like I always like going against the grain. Like they wouldn't expect a pretty girl to be doing that. Look, mm-hmm. like some ratchet ass girl. Like fucking doesn't give a fuck. Like and when you see me doing it, like, whoa, she's is she doing that right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the whole aspect of the whole like. So you like, like the, I think you like the shock value. Like right like, I can't decide. <laughs> about it. Yeah, I like the shock value. Yeah, that's, I guess that's what it is. Because, I mean, they look at you and they're like, oh, pretty girl, she's not, she ain't going to take it up there. And then I was like, oh, shit. And then next thing you know, like, people are take texting it. it. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, yo, check this shit out. Like, yeah. And I I can see, I can see you get, like, you get off on knowing the fact yeah. that, like, you got people, like, and I and then oh. I think it's because I I really do enjoy it though like I really do enjoy it. like I did my I did anal like in my personal life and stuff and I liked it I'm kind of mm-hmm. like oh my god like this is so like I like the whole fact that I'm also be doing it like that like this is not how people have sex but I'm doing it and it's fun so I guess it's a whole shock value yeah you're okay. right <laughs> okay. so um we already talked about like what you want to do long term. Mm-hmm. What is something that you have planned short term? Like something that's like, obviously you want to get into a whole other field outside of porn, but what's something like you can't wait to get into, something that you want to do like ASAP? Um, eventually, I, I want to do like magazine, like magazine photos. She's like doing like magazine spreads and stuff. I have a Hustler magazine coming out August 5th. Okay. Uh, eight, eight page spread coming out for Hustler. Nice. So yeah, that's exciting. And then like, I feel I, like we're breaking some news. Right. Here. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I just found out about it. Like they just emailed me about it. But, um, yeah, so, like, eventually, I, I want to do, like, not eventually, like, short-term, like, I want to do, like, magazine spread. Like, you know? Like, I just got my tattoos covered. There's no more Rolando there anymore. So, like, yeah, I want like, to, go into that. Like, I want to go into, like, magazine spreads and stuff. Like, just for the short-term, just to have fun. Like, to say that I did it. I know I'm not ugly. Like, people say, like, have you ever thought about being a model? And, like, with my tattoos. And they're like, no, like, that doesn't matter. Like, you can, like, you can Photoshop that out, you know? Mm. So, let's show, like, maybe soon I want to do that. Maybe walk yeah. somebody's runway. Okay. Hey. <laughs> so, but for sure, if they're doing magazines, though, for sure. Like urban magazines, like, because that's all they're going to put me in is urban anyway. Like so straight stuff in urban yeah, magazines. Yeah, yeah, something like, like that. that. Like, I want to be in the magazine. Like, hey, like, I'm on that magazine over there. You know? So, so if Case Light hits you up and you do straight stuff, um, yeah. like, you, you down to do it. What's that? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Like, I want to do magazines and stuff. Like, I want to branch out of porn, you know? Do something like do porn still, but then do other stuff too. Like, I'm doing other stuff outside of porn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. W- what advice would you give to girls? trying to get into the business like I mean you made it seem so easy like you just jumped online and just you know google this shit but like it's not that simple I voice this all the time and I voice this to everybody who knows me and meets me and all that if you're going to go and let me grab this mic if you're going to go into porn Please do it for the right reasons. Please don't do it because you see somebody, you see me or anybody else. Oh, I want to be like her. No, you don't want to be like me. Do it for yourself, please. I just voice. I want to be like the dude that's doing you. No, like no, like <laughs> no. Seriously, here you go. Here okay. like, no, like I've heard like some of my closest friends in the industry, like, and I hear their stories, and it's kind of like I fuck with you. You're you're my girl and all that, but you're in it for all the wrong reasons. 
You're not in it because you like what you're doing. You're not in it because you're doing it. Like, you're in it for all the wrong reasons. And I try to, like, you know, guide him and be like, is this what you really want to do? And don't move too fast in it either. Like, if you get into it and you're, you're set on doing girl, girl, do girl, girl. Don't do boy, girl because somebody else is telling you or your agent is telling you, no, well, that, well, you'll, well you'll, you'll sell more because you're doing boy, girl. No, do it on your own pace. That's why, like, a lot of people don't like me, because I go on Instagram and I speak my mind and how I want to do things. Like, you're not going to force me to do something I don't want to do. And that's, I think, what girls get into this industry, and because they're so, not even to be like that, but so money-hungry at the time, that they're just going for whatever. Like, no, come into the industry because that's what you want to do, and you already been evaluated it, and you're comfortable with it, and you're doing it. Don't do it for the attention. Don't do it for the fame. Don't do it for none of that. Do it for yourself, and do it because you want to do it. Mm -hmm. Because I know a group of girls who do it for all the right reasons, and it makes me very sad. Kind of makes me feel like, yeah, I'm like, am I doing it for the right reasons? Because their the reasons are against mine. Uh, so it's kind of like, yeah, my advice to all the girls, like, if you're doing it, do it for the right reasons. Like, think about it for a while. It took me a month for me to, like, really get with it and be like, okay, that's what I want to do. Like, think about it. Like, think about it for a long, long, long time. Like yeah, like yeah. Because I feel like, like, like you it. said, where they jump into it, and I think they're yeah. doing it for the fame and everything. And then you say like you're going too fast. I feel like sometimes when you go too fast, you could kind of burn out like yeah. your your, your that, popularity that, status. No, and like, that's what I was scared of though, because like when I came into it, like they're kind of like, yeah, you can be big, and I'm like, I understand that, but I want to stretch it out though, because average girl, average a porn girl's life is like what a year. And I've been in it for a year now, and like all the stuff that people are watching is uh, when I came out a year ago. That's nothing new. So I feel like now when I come out now, like I have a whole different look going on. They're gonna be like, Terry, who? Where did she come from? She's back. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like if you're gonna do it, do it on your own terms. Do it in the right way. Do it where you're comfortable, and just do it like that. And you you will prosper way more than doing it like. Um, what is it? How you was to say? Generically, like mm -hmm. you're doing it, like oh, do boy, girl, do no, no, do yeah, it at your yeah. own pace. Do yeah. it how you want to do. It. Like I just took a break for six months, haven't mm -hmm. done anything because I didn't want to do it. I'm like, okay, let me just think about what I want to do now, and then if I want to do porn again, I'll do it. And I am shooting next week with Mike Adriano, Evil Angel, mm -hmm. and so we're gonna do it. And it's gonna be good. That's what's up. <laughs> we got a lot of things coming up. Yeah, a lot of things coming up. Too. Magazines and all that's coming out. So my magazine comes out for Hustler August fifth. And I have a lot of shoots coming up. Like, I've been booking some stuff, and some new Trey Hill shoots going to come out, and it's going to be fire. Because I have to like, kind of think mm -hmm. and how I'm going to show myself out this time. And it's going to, y'all going to like it. Y'all going to like it. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. So, a lot, of, a lot of stars, they have a presence uh -huh. online. Um, plug where you're at online. Like, do you have the website? I know you have the Instagram, the Twitter, and everything. Like, where can fans, like, hit you up? Because there's fans out there, like, they're just doing Google searches, and they're uh -huh. just finding, like, snippets of shit. And, like, how can fans, like, stay, like, interaction with you? Interaction with me? Yeah. Um, you mean, like, as far as talking or what? Yeah, like, as far as, as like, like communicating Yeah, with like, me? how can fans, like, be on that, like, personal level where they're, like, they're able to hit you up, like, where I'd be, Twitter, Instagram? Oh, no, my, and my email, like, the, it sounds to me up all the time, and I really will sit there and conversate with them. And they're shocked. They're like, thank you for responding. Like, I mean, because I'm not, like, a bitch. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, I don't want to talk to you. Like, you know, you can contact me on my email. I'm pretty sure everybody has my Twitter and my Instagram. But my email is cherryhilson, triple X, at gmail.com. Um, I'm more than willing to talk. Yeah, like a problem. And a lot of people always ask me, and I feel so bad. Like, they always ask me how to get into the porn game. And I'm like... I'm not a porn agent. I'm not mm -hmm. a talent agent. Like, I'm a talent just how you want to be a talent. Like, I would put you onto that, but I work so hard for where I'm at right now. Uh -huh. Like, I'm not just going to give away the game and be like, here, you, this is what you do. Yeah. Like, no, I, I'm sorry. Like, this, you can reach out all you want to, but I'd probably be like, I can't help you with that. Like, yeah. I can't because I work so hard where I'm at right now. And it was hard for me to get to where I'm at. For me to tell me to just get somebody and be like, You can't oh. just hand out money. Yeah, no, you know, <laughs> not even like that. You know, so it's uh, kind of like, I was telling, like, I'm not a porn agent. Like, figure it out. Go online. Do it. This is how I did it. Like, no one told me, oh, go to this agent. He'll help you. I had to mm -hmm. go online, Google it out, figure where I'm going to go do, who do I want to be with, what kind of image I wanted to portray. So, you know that. But, yeah, friends always hit me up and, like, I feel bad that people always just Twitter in and Instagram me, but I feel like I cannot like talk to everybody. If I did, it's I'd be, impossible. It's impossible. Like I get tweeted and Instagram all the time, and like mm -hmm. you guys, I'm acknowledging you guys. I see it and I read it, and I 
appreciate it, but I cannot respond to everybody. I really can't. I really can't. When you're getting like 500 likes on a picture, like, yeah, you, like your, your first like is like so far down, it's not even there anymore. But just know that I'm acknowledging you guys and I appreciate you guys and I love all of you guys though, because without you guys, I wouldn't be shit. Like, I mm -hmm. literally it wouldn't be just me pushing myself. Like, if I didn't have fans and all that, I wouldn't be anything. So I do acknowledge you guys and I do hear you guys and I see it all. So just keep doing what you're doing, but I cannot respond to everybody. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. You've had the disclaimer. Yeah. So what celebrity crushes do you have? Celebrity, like what kind of celebrity? Like, any, well, I mean, you don't consider yourself a celebrity, so yeah. not those kind of celebrities, but I mean, like, who and you would consider a celebrity, whether it be an athlete, uh, music artist, Rick like. Ross. Rick Ross, Rick, Rick Ross, <laughs> Ricky Rose. People don't know. Like I have this, like I was. Oh my gosh, he came to San Diego. I think it was like 2000, was it 13, 2013 or 12. I don't remember. He came to the Aztec Stadium. It was like SDSU. I was in the second row. He came out and I broke down in tears. I was crying. I was like, oh my god. It's Rick Ross, like I have like the biggest crush on him. Like, do you like Fat Ricky or the new skinny improved? I don't care. I like Ricky, Ricky Rose all day. I can listen to his music. My pussy's getting wet. Like uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, like he can get it all day. Like I can just ride in his car with him and I'm okay. Like just drop uh, me out. We can go to here to the corner. And I'm like, oh. I don't think he's gonna be just taking you to the corner. If you got no, in his but that's like my celebrity crush though, for sure. Okay. Like him. Like you know what? Is. It's the funny thing is because every time I ask this to models and like adult stars or anything, everybody is on Drake's dick. Like. Everybody's like Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. No. Drake, I fuck with you. I fuck with your music. I fuck with you. I fuck with you though. But Rick Ross got my heart though. Like I like Drake. I like Drake. He's probably a quick, like I like. I like that he's well spoken. You hear his music and then you hear him talk. It's kind of like, whoa, where did that go? Uh -huh. You just stuck it over here. And then you hear you talk. You're very well spoken. So I respect him and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sorry, Drake. Rick Ross got me though. And you, you know what, though? It's crazy how you said, like, he switches back and forth. I've recently been seeing the commercials for the ESPYs, which are on tonight, yeah. and ESPN. And I'm watching the video, and I'm like, look at this motherfucker. He all on there, like, to ESPY tonight. <laughs> all, like, serious and shit. I'm like... Very well spoken. It's like, you hear Dylan to 100, and you're like, okay, and you hear one of the ESPYs, like, yeah, Drake, you're live at the ESPYs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Where did that song thing go? But I just can't be mad at it because his music sells. Mm -hmm. So he's cool. I fuck with him. That's all. I didn't come to. Now, right. now I'm going to put you on blast a little bit. Because okay. right? you said you a big Ricky Ross fan. Yes. So I want you to do your best Rick Ross grunt for me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you're you have it. All right. So Ricky, if you're hearing that, I'm, for some reason, I'm, I'm thinking he's going to want to make you do more grunting <laughs> than just that. So. Yeah. All right, so anything else you want the fans to know before we wrap up, like? Um, I want you guys to know that Cherry is coming back full throttle. Like, you guys thought that was Cherry Hilton coming out then? Watch this new shit I come out now. You guys are going to be like, you guys left me then, but y'all really going to let me now. You're going to be like, okay, Cherry's really doing it. So stay tuned. Just I always say that. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Like, this, it's only the beginning. Only the beginning. All right, and the Twitter and Instagram is for everybody who wants to hit you up. Uh, my Instagram is cherry underscore Hilton triple X, and my Twitter is cherry Hilton triple X. Follow up. There you go. There you have it. So the one and only Miss Cherry Hilton, we thank you for Miss Cherry, thank you. <laughs> we thank you for talking to us a little bit. <laughs> no, thank you for and, having uh, me. And like I said, it was, I, just to be able to be here in person to do this because we don't do we don't get a chance to do a lot of the live interviews. Yeah. You know, everybody out on the West Coast, we don't really get a chance. So it's really uh -huh. cool that we actually were able to get this done. Yeah. We weren't catfished. You didn't. He, hey guys, he thought I was pranking him because I was taking him forever. I'm like, I'm on Kelly time. I'm moving slow. Yo, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> people like they always like, yeah, I'm gonna call in. I'm gonna call in, and then like, they don't ever call in. And hey, they're like, he, yo, he was so upset. He walked back to the train station like he's pranking. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm outside. That's no joke. I was about to be out. I was about to be like, fuck this bitch. Yo, I'm out of this. I'm, I'm, I'm just back on the I was train. Like, no, I'm outside. Because I've been drinking. I'm sorry, but no, I'm here now. So hope you guys enjoyed it. We had fun. So. so there you have it, Miss Cherry Hilson. Check her out on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, look Hustler. up for the new Hustler magazine, August 5th, right? Yes, coming out. Y'all going to be impressed on that one, too. Like, so yeah. We want to get some copies of that. Yeah, yeah cool on copy. the website. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. We'll be talking to you real soon then. All right. All right. Hi, this is your favorite porn star, Miss Cherry Hilson herself, and you're listening to Mixed Master B. <laughs>